We have the shotgun, that's what's important. Yeah. Motherfucker! Ignore him. The flood He's is not coming, funny. and your arc is more like a... The flood! It's all over the city! Oh, but you're doing great. What is it? More boots? You Where tell me, like, the flood's gonna... More and more of the building's gonna get flooded the more I get into the second half of this game. No, didn't you hear? Yeah. Halo Flood's coming, man. You're gonna get infected and become a zombie. -ish. No, it's purple fucking shit liquid. It's gay juice. The gay goo. <laughs> Limber up every morning, no <laughs> excuses. The life expensive of a radio man was... Sorry, okay, The continue. life expensive of a radio man is five seconds. Always defy the odds. Five seconds? That's what? nearly not enough time to masturbate. <laughs> That's rookie numbers. Well, you're in a cabin in the woods, and you're eating all. We the also food. talked about Radio Man. So is what the fuck? Is that a bomb? It's deactivated. Is this man making a fucking C4? Is he gonna blow himself up? So he's gonna ah, he was uh, military. Is, army. is yeah. his thing PTSD? I think it is. PTSD. Yo, good call. Oh, here's his tape. Too much for one man. Clap his lazuli. He has a bunch of tools and fucking like s microscopes and shit. Oh wait a minute! A bunch of sound wait. systems. Maybe he's wait. No, I'm more curious. Something. Limber, the life expectancy of a radio man. It, does he mean radio man? Is like the people in like World Two? That... Medics less. Shorter than radio men. Radio, well, radio men are what like because they have the big fucking box with the phone. If you get yeah. rid of them, that's they can't call in artillery. We'll, we'll enter his <laughs> mind and we'll figure it out. <laughs> shotgun bullets in the bath. You'll never know when you need it. <laughs> well, always be prepared. Oh shit, you need it. Never mind, you don't need it. What is that? Is that a shotgun or? No, that's that's bullets. N no fucking shit. Okay, what kind of bullets? Bullets, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, you don't bullets in a shotgun. You use shells, dumb fuck. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. I'm gonna go get some seashells and shove them in my shotgun. Yeah. Seashells. Get seashells, fucking. Seashells. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ignore me. Also, I doubt we're gonna get any other gun. Look at our fucking weapon I, wheel already. Yeah, I don't think you get any more weapons anyway. I hope the weapon wheel goes off the screen. Why would I ignore it? I, why wouldn't I ignore you? I almost said that wrong. Of course I'll ignore you. Big bear take is an insult. You know shit. There's no gold at the end of the rainbow. Only me, nigga. You are the rainbow. Lucas could be your ticket out of here. You have to contact him. Blocking those words. I'll find a way. Whatever you see when you're there, don't let it hinder you. Am I gonna be seeing like a dude get hit with like a bomb and be like, "Where's my leg?" Here we go again. That'd be I, was, I was going very say? oddly specific. Went. Yeah, it was very oddly specific. Oh, what man. the fuck's happening? Time to save Private hey. Ryan. Oh, fucking pleasant. Oh, wonderful. Oh, good Vietnam. They're in the tree! Lucas. From Earthbound? Nice Stop. <laughs> and this table. I didn't know Spot Lucas from Earthbound was oh, in man. World War II. I actually have no idea. <laughs> um, Alright, Mr. Cole. Why don't you sit down so we can start with the basics? Have you ever had therapy or counseling before? Straight to the point, huh, Doc? 
Sorry, I... You're not the first therapist I've met with, but I, I sometimes find it difficult to open up. Past therapy sessions were very... productive. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not a super social guy, so you're the first person I've spoken more than a sentence with since I moved here. About a month ago? In that case, welcome to Milton Haven. <laughs> Thanks. Well, since I'm on the road so much, I, I tend to keep to myself, but... Sometimes I feel like paying people to talk to me. <laughs> I just got a little cabin just outside of uh, town. It's a nice upgrade from living in a van crammed with gear. So, what brings you here? That's a good question. I need help staying... sane. You see, how this usually goes is that I tell you, the therapist, a story from my time in the armed forces of horrifying experiments, government conspiracies, and cover-ups. Then at some point, you're gonna give me the look. The look? The look you're giving me right now. The look that says I'm talking to a lunatic. Lunatic? No. Uh, but I am a bit puzzled. Uh, I would very much like to hear your story. All right, I'll tell it to you, but well, I've been made to doubt myself for years, so I hope you'll take it seriously, take me seriously, and don't give me that look, neither. Just let me do the talking for a bit, okay? It's kind of what you go to a therapist to do. Yeah, it's like... It's like his kind of my therapist didn't do his job. Um... <laughs> But also so nailed the armed, fact so of him armed, being, yeah, armed forces. So yeah, we were right in the mark there. World I'm War II might be too far it. back. Elysium Park. Establish radio contact. Sir, they're in the trees. Well, at least you get another level to test out your new shotgun. You won't listen to me? Fine. Then I Why the fuck would I? close attention to what he has to say. It's the last bedtime story you'll ever hear. Rainbow. Out. Jesus fucking Christ. An Elysium st Okay, so we're in a state park. State park. Nope. Uh, oh, that's tiny. Oh, I was gonna say that's tiny text. Never mind. What? Going into or being upon restricted area, restricted areas, U.S. Blah, blah, blah. The U.S. Army installation Fort Sa Sonder, including the old bunker. Person um, starts up. Suitable employees here Dr. Desmond Quails. Purpose. The purpose of this order is to provide you with the most spectacular death possible, second only to the heat death of the universe. You'll be gone in a flash. Wait, real quick. <laughs> the heat death of the universe. That's a, yeah, that's a fucking quote. Yeah, I, I double checked that. Uh, so on the, uh, ex yeah, Dr. Desmond Wales is us. So we were specifically yeah. written to not come here. Yeah. Yeah. So, by this, this point, they acknowledged we had connection to mm -hmm. these people. I'd get your gun out if I were you. You never know who's gonna jump out of the trees. What the fuck was that what noise? What was that? Tell me, man. I gotta pull out your gun. Like... Oh, the fucking trees are falling. What the fuck? What? Relax, wow. relax, you, you guys. It's just that... the Iron Giant. No, I was gonna say, that reminded me so much of when we were playing that one fucking horror game in Roblox and that giant dude walked by the trees. Oh my god. Oh god, look at this. Jesus fucking Christ. Is that 
fucking Lucas? That has to be. Guerrilla warfare. I'm tired of your shit. I should probably use some bullets. I wanted to use the shotgun. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, I'm trying to pee. So he, uh, of course, he was in the. He was in the military. Also, also another thing, we don't. Dude. We also don't like, as with what Brandon said about maybe World War Two being too like old. We don't know when this. That's also true, but I'm just. But if anything, it might be Vietnam. I'd say Vietnam's the better bet. Yeah. I'm trying clear, to remember if they used I mean, radio was... people. It's blocked from the other side. Well, I mean, even so, I mean, I mean, it's yeah, obvious he was in the military, and he's probably a yeah, he was in the military operator. of some form. Because of all the radio equipment in his fucking like his room. Note to self, check the compatibility of the backup generator rig with my radio beacon technology. And it works, it should enable me to turn on the generators from inside the cabin. But the level is a fucking state park. So was he like That a has fucking... a bunker in it. So was he a park ranger at some point? Maybe, but we also like, cause the quarry was where Max died. Yeah. So we're gonna have to Cause now, now I'm extremely intrigued what the fuck is gonna happen. Cause now I 100% don't know. Yeah, I mean aside from the giant, with the, the giant, giant motherfucker. Uh, it's blocked from the other side. And we have still one more, at least one more tape after this. Housekeeping. Coming Here's in. Here's a rocket. Ryan. Dude, knowing that I don't, I don't want to break into this guy's house because knowing this guy, I'll probably get shot. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I guess the one upside is if that that big monster being him, if he does show up. We should probably hear him first. Yeah, I would. Diary entry would 505. So. Made contact with a scientist working on Agent Rainbow. She told me she could give me documents that'll blow the lid off of this entire experiment. I'm supposed to meet with her soon. Finally, I'm going to get some answers and a chance at vindication. So that's our first time hearing him be called Agent Rainbow. Yeah. That. Oh, you so, bitch. I God, that <laughs> actually scared the shit out of me. Uh, I thought that was like a broom or something. And then they saw him zoom away. I'm like, ah. Oh. That, yeah, dude, that genuinely startled me. From the other side. <laughs> Gay boy is so scary. Yeah, I, I, I still find it funny. This is going to be the only goddamn series of me playing a horror game actually being consistently scared. <laughs> but I'm fine with it because this is legitimately a good game. I don't want no bullshit getting cheap scares off of me. That's stupid. Well, you don't like being told that you, your dog, the dog is missing. Okay, that was just funny. <laughs> it was, you also got scared. <laughs> it was, but it was funny. Yes, it was funny. Note to self, this, this metallic foil is a happy accident. While I don't want anything to block my device's signal, it may help hide the frequency from being detected by undesirable forces. Further testing is in order. For now, I can at least sleep with less interference in the air. So, oh, he oh, yeah, became... Right. He, did, he mentioned conspiracies before. Mm. 
All right, uh, log entry 465. Finally, some progress. I found a half-burnt memo that mentioned an actual chemical agent tested in the 60s. It said, why fight the enemy when you can scare it into submission? But also said it that it proved to be too effective, so they shut it down. I guess they decided to bring it out of retirement. Is that what... Is Agent Rainbow a fear toxin? I mean... Were they committing war crimes? I mean, that seems like the most likely answer. Because, I mean, he... I don't... I mean, unless Ag Agent Rainbow is, like, an actual person, but... Wait, the most ever... Wait, ever since I listened to the... De uh, deposition of a radio man who survived an encounter with Agent Rainbow in the late 60s. I knew there had to be a connection between radio waves and the way the chemical affects the brain. It's a little known fact that the brain emits electromagnetic radiation brain waves just like a radio does. The difference in frequency is so different, however, that the two, that the two never interfere with each other. But with Agent Rainbow, that's no longer the case. In order to understand how Agent Rainbow works, one must not only understand the brain's chemistry, but its mental processes as well. Consider the... What? What is, what is that? J Junjin? Jun uh, yeah, let's go with that. Whatever. Concept of the shadow. In simple term, the dark part of our personality. Every undesirable aspect of ourselves we push down and repress. Agent Rainbow brings it all to the surface and gives it form. Facing something like that in such a sudden way is a truly horrifying experience. Leading to the accelerated mental de degradation, degradation followed often by death. This is part so two. I'm a, all right. I'm gonna... Oh. You go, I'll read it after. So... Okay, so what I'm thinking is is that I feel like, a, unless I'm completely wrong, an Agent Rainbow isn't actually just a guy. It's just a substance. Like, with all the pride puddles and shit. Hmm, yeah. Alright. Like, the actual dude is like a hallucination or something. Alright. Version 1.0. Nearby radio signals automatically detected and displayed in the monitor... Now show frequency alignment when positioned correctly. Version 1.1. Added a red action button for convenience sake. Now all I have to do is press it when the device is properly positioned and aimed at a desired signal and or source and I can interact with them. Version 1.2. Waves on monitor now align them emitter frequencies in close proximity. It'll light up. Thanks. Version 2.0. After installing the new mo mobile antenna, the device now picks up frequencies from certain stars. Need to explore further. Bug report. Certain metal foils have been found to block reception transmission. Picking up strange voices and random patterns. Snake program still crashes device. <laughs> I got trophy fully loaded. Find all weapons in the game. Oh, nice. Looks custom made. No idea how it works. Custom made. Let's see what it can do. You gotta sync that frequency. I need to go out that way. Oh no, wait. Wait, you didn't have to. Is it not the red light? No. I restarted it. So now it is. It wasn't what I had to get close to. What uh -oh. I do. What you did was you just found out oh. how you stopped the monster. Uh oh, you better move! 
It's got a gun attached to it. <laughs> it's got a gun. You gotta get out of there. Why does it sound like Sonic revving up? Am I the one that hears that? No, I hear it. Oh, it's him! Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Where do I scan this? Oh, good buddy. Probably... Maybe aim it at him? If you can... See him. Bad! Oh! Oh. So that's a thing. Defeat the Flash. So, we're dealing with a big bitch with a gun. Yeah, it, it's just like a walking... It's a walking, talking turret. Gen 4. Bitch is equipped with a fucking rail cannon. Spooky. Spooky. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's uh. That's never a good. So uh oh, we're on war, motherfuckers. Either a flashback or like actually. What the fuck is happening? It's time to get down into the trenches. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's time to get out of there! <laughs> Watch how you got freaks bring out Bash Shelly and start shooting. We got bogeys! Ah! Whoa. Hit me down. That I whoa whoa! <laughs> Did you see him appear for a frame? Yeah. No, wait, what? He was you there. See, yeah, so Agent Rainbow was there for a frame. I didn't like see ran, him. You ran so fast, you ran past him. Yeah, you ran oh. right. You ran right through him. Yeah. I was pretty sure he was supposed to just jump scare you there, but. Yeah. No, I got jump scared by the plywood. <laughs> <laughs> I got jump scared from the fucking mortar that came down. Landed <laughs> <laughs> right from here. <laughs> My device is detecting weak signals from within the walls of the bunker entrance. I managed to interact with two of them before, but they seem finicky and buried behind thick cement and metal. Perhaps there's too much interference at the moment. I'll try again at a later time. <laughs>